y-intercept for this. You can. So, okay, um, so to find the y-intercept, you need to set x equal to 0. And you plug it into the equation. And after this, you just distribute the 5 to the 0. So it will be 0 plus 7y equals 35. And to get y by itself, you divide 7 to both sides. And then you get y equals 5. 5. And that's your answer. Yeah. So, do you get it now? Yeah? Okay. I think we're done now. See the ball game, dude. I could have totally made that shot, but I missed it. Oh, what? Where the hell is Lana? It was Jake, right? Who is this? You gotta take this back downstairs. Okay, here. So, I have your friend. Don't tell anyone or she dies. If you want to find her, solve my problems. Math freak. Math freak. Hex math freak. Should we tell anyone? I don't even know what problem he's talking about. What's his math freak? Math freak problems. Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Problem right here. Yeah. It's find the x intercept. X intercept. Yeah, wait How do you a minute. Do that? I think it's the same as finding y intercept. If I remember correctly, if you wanted to find the x intercept, you had to turn the y into a zero. So, if we turn the y into a zero, we get 6x plus zero over 18. Now we just gotta solve for x. Maybe we just divide the six by both sides. X is equal to. 18 over 6. It's 3, right? 3. 3. Yeah. <gasps> 3. What does that mean? What can that mean? I'm not sure. 3. Oh. Hey, look. Hey, look. X3. We got it, you guys. I took your friend because he knew too much. Solve this problem to save them both. Find a domain. Like, I think I remember Lana teaching. Okay, so Caitlin, what do you already know about this? Um, nothing. Nothing? Okay. So the domain, this basically stands for X. So this is the domain. Okay. okay. And the range is the Y. So all the numbers that are here are the are part of the x, right? Mm -hmm. So it also means that it's part of the domain. So domain equals 1, 4, and 0. And do you know what the range equals? Oh, 2, 5, and 3. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to solve for x. To tell if it's a function, you just look at the domain, which is this right here. And if there are repeating numbers, then it's not a function. And if there are no repeating numbers, then it is a function. So is this a function or not? Oh, yeah. Yes? Okay. Correct. Um, t t equals one, four, zero. You like the map? Wait, one, four, zero. Right here. It's a model here. Yeah, let's go. So the y-intercept is going to go on the y for here. 
So since this is a negative 4, you go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So the point is going to be right here, the negative 4, okay? And then right here, this is the slope. So this is rise over run. So you go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then you run 2, so 1, 2. Dot's gonna be right there. You connect the dots, and you get your answer. So this is how you graph. This is why rise over run. Okay, so you rise three, one, two, three, and you run two, one, two. So are you going the other way? No, that's how it goes. This is exactly how I remember it. All right, so we go this way. with this coin floating form with water so I'll teach you how to graph it right now. First thing you gotta do is to get it to point slope form, but you have to get y by itself. So the first thing we're gonna do is add 10 here. So we can get rid of this on both sides. So that means that we're gonna have 2y is greater than or equal to 10x minus 4. And we're going to get y by itself, so we divide this by 2 on both sides, get rid of this, and then we should have y is greater than or equal to 5x minus 2. And now that that is in point slope form, try to do this graph here. Here's your y-intercept, so you put what, 2 right here on the y-intercept, and this is your rise over run, right? And since it's only a solid 5, you know, just imagine there's a one under it, and you go up five, two, five, to your right once for the run. So that's your point. Then you connect the dots, and the reason why it's solid is because it's um, equal to an inequality. If it was just less than, it would be in um, a little bracket, but it's not. So that's your, that's your um, line. And to finish it off, since it's inequality, we need to shade in the region that it's uh, greater than. And since y in this case is greater than 5x minus 2, it would be in this region. This entire region right here. So we would shade this in. If it was the other way around, 